Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and we're in Paris, France if you can't tell by the Eiffel Tower behind me. And today what we have for you are 10 things that'll shock you about coming here to France, okay? So, this is for probably US tourists coming to France, might be your biggest surprises. So let's get started. Now the first thing that'll shock Americans when they come here is how much the French actually smoke. Whether it is having a cigarette with your coffee in the afternoon or after your meal or during your meal or at breakfast or at the cafe in the morning, the French love to smoke. Deal with it. Yes, you're not supposed to smoke inside and they don't, but they go outside and smoke. So if you're used to your pure clean air, it's not going to happen here. So realize, yes, the French do like to smoke a lot and that will shock you how much they still do smoke, okay? The second thing that'll shock you about coming to France is actually how friendly and helpful the people are in France. Because in the US we hear all this anti-American stuff about France and how the French are rude and unhelpful. That's a bunch of BS, okay? The French are fantastic people and they are very helpful. Even here in Paris, the locals are actually much nicer than you'd expect from a huge international city with millions of tourists every year. So just realize you'll be shocked at actually how friendly the French people can be. And when you get to the villages or you speak a little bit of French, how much even more friendly they become. And that's gonna shock you just how wonderful the people are here because they're not jerks that hate Americans, okay? They're good people. The third thing that'll shock you about coming to France is, how do I say this? Well, they're closed for business, okay? It, during the lunch hour, some businesses will literally close for an hour or two every day. Also, Sundays, forget about shopping, it's all closed down. And even some places on Mondays are closed as well. Museums, sometimes they're closed on Thursdays. And these weird office and business hours can get kind of frustrating for tourists. So we'll shock you when you go to shop on a Sunday or go to a museum on a Monday or maybe a Tuesday and they're closed, okay? So be prepared. So when you don't want to be shocked, if there's museums you want to go to or shopping you want to go to, check their schedules online and you'll be much better off and much happier. The fourth thing that might shock you about France is their look but don't touch mantra when it comes to two things. One, produce, okay? So when you see all the good fruit at the fruit stands and stuff like that, you're not supposed to pick it up. You wait for the guy or the lady to come to pick it up for you and you say how many apples you want or how many bananas you want, these kind of things. You don't grab it yourself. So if you do, don't be surprised if someone yells at you and goes, hey, don't do that, okay? Another thing that you're supposed to look at and not touch a lot of times are the parks, okay? You'll see these beautiful parks everywhere, but no one's sitting on them because you're not supposed to sit in the parks. Now, some you can, but some you can't. So just, just make sure you look for the signs and make sure it says, yes, you can sit here, okay? The fifth thing that'll shock you about coming to France is the dog poop. Oh my goodness, they love their dogs here and they let their dogs enjoy France everywhere. And no, they don't clean it up all the time. So whether you're walking in the streets or on the sidewalks and stuff like that, keep an eye out for the dog poop. And when it rains, it can get pretty slick, okay? So just be prepared for that because you might be shocked about how much dog poop you will see on the streets, okay? Number six, this is for my American friends when you head down to the Côte d'Azur, the French Riviera. Yes, those girls there, they are topless. And that is completely normal, okay? They do have topless beaches here, and it's not a topless beach, it's just a beach that you can go topless, yes or no. I mean, sometimes we go topless. I mean, no one wants to see me topless, but I'll do it, okay? My wife, my all kinds of my friends will do it too. It's normal here. That's why it's kind of funny when you go down, to, if you go to the rocky beaches in Nice or whatever, and you'll see the Americans come and they'll have like their camera on their side, like taking pictures of normal people just laying out, because, oh look, boobs! So yes, you will see some boobs when you go to the beaches, okay? And you're free to show yours as well. It's okay. The seventh thing that might shock you when you come here is when it comes to eating. Lots of things might shock you. One, how fantastic the food is, but most likely what'll shock you is when you go to eat, and if you're from the US, dinner times are like from five to six, maybe seven at night. Well, here in France, a lot of times restaurants will close in the afternoon between the lunch sitting and the dinner sitting. So if you want to eat at five or six, it might be hard to find a restaurant to eat at that's not like a touristy place, okay? So make sure you realize that, hey, sometimes the restaurants don't open for dinner until 7 p.m. You might be able to go in for a, a drink or something, but the kitchen part might not open until seven, okay? So that might shock you there. The eighth thing that might shock you when you come here is, yes, having a baguette and cheese can be a meal. The food here is knockout, by far, the best food in the world. I travel over the place and yes, I love my food in China, I love my Italian friends, but I'm sorry. 
my heart bleeds French food. It is so fantastic here. And even the simplest fare, cheese and a baguette, cheese and bread will be a wonderful meal. I can't tell you how many times I've sat here in this part of the park you can actually sit in, <laughs> in front of the Eiffel Tower and had bread and cheese with my family as we just played around here in the park. And that's all we had and we were happy with it. And you'll see that with the French, they'll just grab a baguette or they'll grab some fruit. You can have a very simple meal here and eat very well. Or you can have fantastic feasts of food at restaurants. And one thing that might shock you is it takes a long time to eat in France. So if you get one of those menus, you know where it has an, a starter, a main dish and a dessert, you're looking at spending maybe an hour or two or longer at the restaurant. And also at those restaurants, you may think that they know you're finished, but you still have to ask for l'addition, the bill. Otherwise, they'll just let you sit there for hours because the French do that. They sit there for hours, have their coffee and wine and cigarettes, of course, outside and stuff. So just be prepared for that. The ninth thing that might shock you about coming to France is, yes, you do need to parler français. You need to speak at least a little French when you're here. Now, old people here, they don't speak too much English. Young people, they are learning it and they speak some, so you're okay that way. In the tourist industry, you're okay. But the thing is, when you're going around, you're going to restaurants, you're ordering food and stuff like that, it is a vital need that you speak at least a little French. And we have some basic phrase videos in French that'll help out. And just speaking that little bit will make a big difference because you're not always going to get an English menu if you're outside of Paris, okay? Paris, it's easy because there's so many tourists, but hey, you're going to Avignon or Montpellier or La Rochelle, it's a little bit tougher to come by, okay? So you need to be shocked that yes, you do need to speak some French because no, not everyone speaks English here, okay? The tenth thing that you're gonna, might shock you, if you, especially if you're from the U.S., are the free-range children they have here. The French let their kids be children. They get to go ride on their bikes and, and their scooters by themselves and no helmets and stuff like that. And it's okay. They don't helicopter parent here. So I'll see tourists going, oh my God, there's a kid by themselves over there. He might be eight or nine. Yeah, that's normal here, okay? But it does shock Americans when they see like kids roving groups of you know 10-year-olds hanging out because they give them the independence to do that. And it's great. And I know our kids, we let them run wild when they're here and they love it because they're not dragged back by some old lady down the street saying, hey, this little kid was out on his own. I'm like, yes, it's a park. They can play. Okay, so that might shock you is that thing. The 11th thing that's going to shock you about coming to France is, guys, you need to realize France is not just Paris. I know I'm making this video in front of the Eiffel Tower because it is the most iconic vision of Paris. I mean, if I had a beret, it'd be just perfect. But the thing is, France is so much more than Paris. I love Avignon. I love Bordeaux, the wine. Oh my God. Go to Toulouse for the Space Museum there. I mean, France is awesome and it goes everywhere. Mont Saint-Michel, probably the most prettiest place in the world. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. There's so much in France to see outside of Paris. And that's what shocks a lot of people because they think, oh, I just need to see Paris. No, there is so much more here and you're gonna love it. And the 12th thing that might shock you when you do come to France is that you might see there are quite a few beggars around. Now the French people say, well, they're not French, you know, and these kind of things, but just be prepared for people begging on the metros or musicians asking for money or children begging, these kind of things. Just be prepared for that. Now you should not give them money, okay, because that just encourages it to keep going. So just realize you might see some beggars. Now, those are actually 12 things that might shock you when you come to France. We love France. I'm shocked how much I love it. And every time I come here, I fall in love even more with it. I mean, literally, this is probably my 35th or 36th time in France, and I can't wait to come back. And I haven't even left yet. So anyway, if you want to learn more things about things that might shock you about traveling, we have 10 things that might shock you by when you visit Europe, 10 things that might shock you about the U.S. or China. If you want to learn more, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook, and we appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And if you watch some other videos, click up here, and you can have five things you're going to love and hate about France. Click down here, five things you love and hate about Paris. And we'll see you later. Bye from Paris, France. Hope we didn't shock you too much. Au revoir.